Hey, Scooby Lover here. In Minecraft PS4 edition and creative, I just want to quickly show you guys one of my favorite builds. That one of the builds that I love to do whenever I'm in creative mode of Minecraft. And you may have seen it before, but here it is, the Hearthfire Hotel. It's my job to build the basic structure, and it's my friend's job to do all the interior decorating. And I do all the labeling so that way they know what goes where. This is going to be the lobby. Thank you, bad girl. This is going to be the dining room once it's decorated. These two th places over here are going to be the kitchens for when they do um, for when they do get decorated. Because believe me and realistically, this small space would not work as a kitchen. So that's why I have two spaces. That will probably be enough. Up here is where the rooms are going to be. I've already set up the two VIP rooms. There are two floored rooms, which are pretty nice. Uh, again, no decoration yet, but those are my friend's jobs. And here's where the staff lounge is behind this door here. Let's go inside. Like I said, it's not much because it's not decorated yet, but hold on, let me just put the door back. Boom. And here's the Sky Lounge, where it's going to be. This is where I'm going to put the pool, along with a full, with a few chairs. And once it becomes public, um, I'll maybe uh, turn the daylight cycle back on. I turned it off, so that way I could always work under daylight. So I'm going to put the pool up here along with a few chairs, maybe a few vendors like Starbucks or Chick-fil-A or something of that sort. Like small things that you can find at places. And I just love building this hotel wherever I go because it's really fun to build and it's, it's sort of easy and com yet complex as you can see by the different um, block types. Let me just show you something real quick. The oak planks that you see here are for the uh, for the basic structure as long as any utilities that may be added later, like for example, bathroom or shower. The spruce planks I'm going to use for a type of room. Um, the birch wood I'm going to be using for for the deluxe type rooms, which are, well actually let's go in the order of from small rooms to big rooms. The jungle wood, which you see here, I'm going to be using for expansions to the property, as well as standard rooms, which are small rooms for small budgets. The birch wood will be deluxe rooms, which are slightly bigger than standard, but still affordable. The spruce planks will be moderate rooms, which are bigger and a bit more expensive. The acacia planks will be the suites, which are even more expensive and even bigger. And the dark oak, which I've already set up, will be the VIP rooms, which will be the biggest and most expensive rooms of them all. I've set up windows, but owners of the VIP room can place custom windows and or a balcony if they so choose. I will give them privileges if they decide to do that. I'm planning on building um, a chandelier here possibly for the lobby and uh, yeah that's pretty much it this is the basic structure of what I go by whenever I do build this in other people's worlds and of course the hearth fire hotel that springs from the modular construction that you can do with the hearth fire DLC in Skyrim um, I took inspiration from the fact that you can build epic houses and in different modulars and different modes like you can build an alchemy room that's a tower or a kitchen or stuff, stuff like that I took inspiration off of that and put it into Minecraft but just not in the Skyrim setting just in, in, in inspiration so I just wanted to show you guys that um, hope you enjoyed this video um, till next time this is Scooby Lover hold on <laughs> sign off Stay sharp.